are, are you saying that the government is not being transparent with the analysis that it has? Um, I, what I mentioned is that the government has economic analysis on the impact of the carbon tax itself and the OBPS. We've seen that, staff in my office, but we've been told explicitly not to disclose it and reference it. If the elections aren't held before October 2025, the Liberals are in for a prolonged, agonizing political death. They've spent the better part of the year so far endlessly repeating that 8 out of 10 Canadian households paying the federal carbon tax end up better off financially because of quarterly climate action incentive payment. I have to admit the rhetoric is working as I was able to repeat that line from memory, no googling required. We've now come to discover that the carbon tax agenda isn't merely being called a scam by online opponent. It's actually being declared as such by the parliamentary budget officer. In what the Liberals are calling an error, it's been revealed that Canadians come nowhere close to the stated benefits of the carbon tax. As you can imagine, the Liberals are livid with this revelation and the PBO's officer, Yves Giroux, has publicly stated he's being gagged by their government. Given you their analysis, but they have said they put a gag on you basically saying you can't talk about it. That is my understanding. When asked to respond to a report that the carbon tax is a detriment and not the benefit they claim it is, Christopher Freeland responded with this. Um, obviously, um, we are disappointed um, that uh, in the published calculations by the PBO about the carbon rebate, um, the large emitters were included. Um, but I really want to say I am 100% um, of the view that it was an honest mistake. And the PBO does a huge amount of work. They have a huge amount of data um, that they need to handle. Um, and, you know, honest mistakes will be made. Um, our government is absolutely confident that the price on pollution um, returns more money to the pockets of eight out of 10 Canadians. It is, and, and that, there's just kind of common sense to that. This is a revenue neutral measure. Um, the federal budget doesn't get a penny from the price on pollution. All the money that is collected goes back to Canadians. Um, and actually, this is a measure where um, middle-class Canadians tend to get more of a benefit. I'm very glad that we're increasing. I'm turning to Sean here because we've worked with him and um, with Seamus. I'm very glad we're increasing the rural rebate. Um, so we have great confidence that this is uh, a measure which puts more money in the pockets out of 8 out of 10 Canadians. The error in question stems from the PBO including the industrial carbon price in its calculation. That error covered up the negative impact the carbon tax has on the economy by lowering Canada's GDP, resulting in a reduction of business investment and labor income. Are you guys ready for this? What this error means is that 6 out of 10 households actually end up worse off despite the rebate. The Liberals aren't just in damage control mode over the PBO's revelation. They're also trying to block more information from coming out. Turns out the PBO made a request for a file from Stephen Gibault's office on May 14th. That file was turned over by Gibault's office but with a stern warning which you can see here. The data the department is providing contains unpublished information. As such, I request you to ensure that this information is used for your office's internal purposes only and is not published for further distribution. When asked about the letter, Gibault responded with this statement. The fact remains the PBO overestimated the impacts of the consumer carbon price on the Canadian economy and fails to account for the costs of climate change, which is costing the Canadian economy billions annually. Now, I may not be a scientist, but even I know that measuring the impact of climate change on the economy is still a no-go at this point. I just don't see how you can give an accurate picture of that. So at the rate things are going for the Liberals, I'm beginning to believe that moving forward, any political party promising to protect the environment will be sinking their ships in future elections for quite some time to come. So tell me how you feel. Leave your opinions in the comments. Thank you very much for watching. And if you haven't done so already, please do consider subscribing.